Seven up anyone? Not this stuff. Seven uploads in seven days. Day number five. Richard, go ahead. Roll that video. Hello everyone and welcome to What's Up With Richard. And today I'm going to change out the tires on my road bike because I flat just haven't ridden it very much simply because the rear tire had a big chunk so out of it. The first thing I want to do is let some air out of the tire. And I'm going to get my tire levers out and I'm going to take off the tire. If you've noticed over here, this is the rotation of the tire because I know that the gator skins are rotational. So all I have to do then is match this up. I have screwed that up in the past. Took a little bit of tugging, but I got it to pop all the way around. Next step is just to get it off. Now usually if you put new tires on, they suggest you use a new tube, but I'm going to try to use the old tube, save myself some money. And off she comes. And once you have the tire off the rim, it's a good time to inspect the inside, the rim tape. And it's also a good time to clean things up. This will be my first attempt at ever putting a folding tire onto a rim. So we'll do the unboxing here. Now this is nice. I don't have to worry about cutting it. Maybe. There it goes. And somehow I got to get this onto this. Pretty much just unfolds pretty easily. Does come with directions. in a multitude of languages I just gotta find the one I can read now because this is a directional tire I have to identify there it is right there there's an arrow on the tire and I have to match that arrow to the arrow that I put on the rim and that's backwards. So let's try it this way. And now we got it. I got the tire on the rim. I got a little air in the tube. I just need to find the hole for the valve. There it is. And we put this through. And then they say what you need to do is just push this all the way around the edge and onto the rim. All right, as you can see, I've got the tube in here and I've started working this carefully around the rim. And of course, you want to always be careful to make sure that you don't pinch the tube, which I've done in the past. And now we're at the point where we need to use a little thumb and rolling power. As you can see, I finally got the tire on. 
it was a struggle especially that last five inches um, eventually I had to get a tool and pry just a little bit I kept pushing around the outside uh, it went on I've got hundred ten pounds of pressure in there it seems to be holding and I think we're ready to work on the other tire as you can see I got the tires on got the bike cleaned up and ready for a test ride I have to admit those are the hardest tires I've put on a bicycle rim especially that last three or four inches I really had to push and squeeze and twist to get those things on in fact I actually have a blister on my thumb but they're on there they've been holding air now for about an hour and a half so I'm not worried about that even though the first tire I had to replace the tube that's right there was a pinhole in it I didn't realize it and uh, but it went on easier the second time hopefully I won't have that problem if I'm on the road and have to change a flat tire